Hello guys, Jack here from Pure Create Designs and I am back with another tutorial now. I apologise for being away for so long, I've been very ill. Uh, you can probably hear by the sound of my throat and uh, my voice that I do sound a bit dodgy. Uh, I might be a bit croaky from time to time, but that's not going to stop me. I wanted to make this tutorial today. Now I will be back with a lot more tutorials, so don't worry, but we're going to go straight into this one. Now this one is going to be looking at creating fixed divs inside of Dreamweaver using HTML5. Uh, now Dreamweaver is just going to help it. Um, it's going to be all code written, so... Um, if you're uh, not using Dreamweaver, um, it doesn't have to be CS5, it can be any Dreamweaver or any web developer of what you want to use. And uh, yeah. So if you're wondering what the hell is in front of you, this is like a dodgy Facebook. Uh, I created this like 10 minutes ago just for the purpose of this tutorial. And I call it Buckface generally because of uh, just copyright reasons. Uh, but what this actually is, it's just a dodgy version of Facebook. It's not really Facebook, but it's just to give you an example of what I mean by fixed divs. Now if you watch this center stage here with all these random names, I've got this from the name generator, don't worry, I don't actually know these people. Uh, but if I go right to scroll down, as you can see, the middle section moves, but the header and the side section where all these people are online stay the same. Okay, You see this a lot in um, social uh, websites, like you know, social media websites like Facebook, Twitter has one. Uh, I see I, SoundCloud has some. Uh, there's a lot of those type of things that have um, these fixed divs. And as you can see, the top stays the same, and the side section stays the same. Now, these are very nicely done. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to show you how to create a very basic version uh, like this. But uh, a lot of people have all requested the ones that stay at the side over here. Uh, you can just click on them, or they pop out. It's generally they're just the same concept, there's just a bit more coding involved. I may do a tutorial specifically on them, but it's just generally using these type of things. But as you can see this header stays the same and this left part stays the same so let's go on and create this tutorial. Now I'm going to go into Dreamweaver and uh, this is the actual index file. I'm just going to close out with this. And uh, first off I'm going to go and right click and I'm going to create a new file. Now I'm going to call this um, fixdiv because I can. Okay. Now I'm going to go straight into this. Okay, I'm going to go straight into code view because we're going to be coding. Now this is the normal H, um, HTML file as you can see here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and, uh, and this this is going to be in the description. Now this is just a basic HTML5 uh, code, right? Paste that in there. Okay, this is all HTML5, and uh, underneath this first head tag here, I'm just going to create a title because it's always good to have a title in your website. Now I'm going to call this fix divs. Okay and an exclamation mark okay uh, that, that's good so that's changed we've got a title in there now now first off we need to create um, some actual divs but uh, what I want to do is if I just go back into my index code if you go to the link in the description it will take you to this thing called a CSS reset okay now if you copy from this HTML tag here and you copy all the way to the bottom Okay, close the nipple bracket as you can see, uh, and you go and create a CSS folder in your site root. Uh, okay, and uh, name it reset.css. Now paste it in there. Okay, now what this actually does is it resets everything in your uh, HTML uh, web page to its reset like default function. There's no um, like like uh, how can I describe it? Like styles put in there because um, Dreamweaver seems to add their own in. But uh, what this is going to do is just reset everything back to its original. Uh, format. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this now and I'll show you to set this up. Actually I'll do it right now. So underneath this title, enter a turn a couple of times, we're going to go link and then rel. Okay. Now it's going to be a style sheet um, like that. Okay. Let me just go back in and just make sure I am doing this correctly. Now the type is going to be uh, text.css. Okay. Now we're going to browse for this. So href okay let's browse now go into the CSS now this is where I told you to paste it make a CSS file over here as you can see called reset.css now all you have to do is just type that in and it'll be a CSS file paste that from this web page um, over here this web page here in okay and um, we'll, what you need to do just click it open it up and then we can close this off if I'll do it correctly okay now if we go back in as you can see we got pushed straight over and if you saw that, I'll just remove this line for a sec. As you can see, there's this padding already. So as soon as I pasted that in, the padding disappeared. Okay, so that's what we want to do. Now I'm going to copy this line, okay, like so, and then I'm going to paste it below. 
And then what I'm going to do is I've made a new one here called main.css. This is where we're going to paste all our style sheets in or all our styles for this web uh, browser in. Um, these are very good to have for individual web pages or multiple web pages. So just create a main.css. There's nothing in there for now. And uh, what we're going to do is going to browse for that one. So let's type out href. I'm going to choose this main one here. Now a lot of people do this, it's just generally a lot easier uh, to work with. Okay, so now we have those both set up. Now we can go on to actually creating some divs. So in the body tag, enter a turn a couple of times, let's just get our way down here a bit. And I'm going to start off straight away with a div and this one's going to be called header. Okay, because we need a header. Um, let's do that. Okay. So let's enter it. Uh, actually, no, we don't need to return there. Um, I'm just going to close this off with a um, comment just to show whereabouts we are. Uh, always good to do this, guys. If you don't do it, um, I'd advise you to. Uh, what it does is you can just see on the page whereabouts you're working with because you know how much code that gets filled up on these pages. Uh, if you want to specifically find something, as you can see, I can go straight to the header. Okay, so let's just copy this and uh, we're going to go straight into. Um, our main.css. Let's open that up. Okay. All right. Now the first thing we're going to do is hit pound, and we're going to choose header. Okay. Now open the uh, nipple bracket. I don't really know the correct term for it, but I just call it a nipple bracket because it just generally looks like it has a nipple on the end. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. If someone can actually post me what the real name is, because it's not a curly bracket, because these are curly brackets. Um, so I don't really know, but inside of here we're going to add a height, okay, and we're going to have the height of 35 pixels, all right, and um, we're going to add a width to this as well, and the width is going to be auto. It's going to go completely uh, across the top uh, of this, um, not auto, 100%. Sorry, not auto, 100%. It's going to go completely across the top of this document, okay. So as we can see. The div is 35 pixels in height and it spreads its way right across this document. It's all expanding. Okay. Now I'm going to go into this index. We're going to copy this blue from here. So if I find the header wrapper, um, that's the one, we can copy out this color. So let me just grab the background color because it's quite a nice color. Okay, let's copy that. Now what we're going to do back into the main.css, we're going to add a background and then we're going to choose color. All right. And then we're going to paste that in there and I didn't even copy it which is very good well then Jack alright so let's copy this actually correctly this time control C um, doesn't seem to work that well on uh, in Dreamweaver alright so let's go back into this as you can see we've got that nice blue in there I'm gonna set the actual height of this to 45 pixels it doesn't seem to be tall enough uh, that's better maybe a little bit less let's go for 40 alright so there's our header in place alright now we need to add um, maybe a main, like an actual main section div, because this is just a little bit, um, well there's nothing there to scroll, uh, if that makes any sense. Um, so we're going to go back into the code view in the fixed div uh, uh, HTML document, uh, enter a turn a couple of times, I'm going to create another div, and this one's going to be called main section. Alright. Right, so there's our div there, and again, I'm just going to click inside of here, just enter a turn a couple of times, and then I'm going to open a, a comment saying a main section. Again, it's just helping us locate it if we ever need to. Okay. Right, so inside here, we're just going to leave that blank for now, but what we're going to do is going to style it, so let's just double click, right click, copy, and go back into here. Um, enter and uh, we're going to type pound again and then main section and we're going to open that nipple bracket and uh, close that off now inside of here we're going to do the same again we're going to add a height and uh, the height this time is going to be around a thousand pixels All right, and the width of this document uh, I'd say again roughly about 800 pixels uh, I don't know if to be uh, completely correct um, I'm going to add some um, what should we do? Actually, we'll just what we're going to do is going to go margin on the left, auto. Now, if you don't know what I'm doing here, this is actually centering it. It's a way of centering divs. Um, so then again, auto. Okay, and we can leave it like that. Let's just have a look how big this is inside our design view. Okay, that looks fine. As you can see, the div is now in place. Now let's add a um, border. Um, so if we just type in border on the uh, where should we go for let's just go for border 
and then we'll choose it to be a solid uh, doc. Uh, is there a solid? Uh, no, I can't do that. So what I'm going to do is just use border solid. Um, then it'll be one pixel. Okay, the colour will be a lightish grey. So let's go for all C's, uh, and then we'll go for um, uh, zero, one, zero, one. Okay. So it's one pixel on the left, one pixel on the right. Okay, let's just see if this has worked. It has. Right, let's go into our browser. No, it hasn't. What am I chatting? Why have I done this wrong now? Okay, back into our main.css. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Let's just see what I've done if I do this. There we go. Right, we have one around the top. Uh, let's just, as, as you can see, it's just generally a border. I don't really want it on the top, but I'll leave it there for now. But as you can see, we've got this main section. Now, if you're wondering, Jack, uh, as you can see, when I'm scrolling down, the the top is disappearing. Okay. Now, just to make this look like it's actually working, uh, inside of the main section, let's just enter a turn a couple of times. Um, no, actually, wrong place. It's already been done. We're gonna uh, tab our way in, and uh, we're just gonna add a H1 tag. Okay. Now h1 tag means header one. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to write um, some shit here. Okay, you'll see why in a sec. So we've got some shit here. Now let's just paste uh, this a couple of times below. If I can paste correctly. Right, some shit here. All right. Now what we're going to do is actually style this. So let's just copy this h1 tag, or it doesn't actually have to do that. Let's just copy this. For now, now below it, paste that in, and then type H1 behind it. Open a nipple bracket, close a nipple bracket. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a font family to this. And the font family is going to be let's just go for this Arial and just some other random shit. Now the font size uh, is going to be quite big. Let's just go for the largest. It has 56 pixels. Okay, let's just see what this has done. Okay, so as you can see, some shit here is quite big uh, on the screen. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, should probably copy that a few more times. Uh, just copy this then. Right, let's just go down. This is just—you'll see why I've done this in a sec. It's just so you can see that it actually is working. Um, so to a look, that looks that looks better. All right, okay. So now this is where we are going to actually style this main div to be a fixed div. Now it's actually very easy. So all this before, nothing to do with HTML5. Now uh, it's still again, it's only HTML5 this works with. But if we go main.css under the header and enter a turn, I'm going to go position. Okay. Now I'm going to choose fixed. Uh, nope, nope, that's absolute. I don't want to choose absolute. I want to choose fixed. Okay. So go down to fixed. All right, now let's go back into our browser. Okay, ready? As soon as we scroll, as you can see, the top stays the same. Now you understand why I've wrote this in because uh, now you can see exactly what's happening. But as you can see, there works very nicely indeed. The top div is actually staying the same. Now that is actually how we create divs. Um, as you can see, they work exactly the same as a normal div, except they stay exactly where they are. You can completely add whatever you want in there. So if you wanted to use it as a header, you can have your logo and all that schnizzle. And as you can see, stays it perfectly the same. Um, I'm repeating myself, <laughs> but uh, that is it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Now, if you learned something from it, I'd hopefully uh, just leave a like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, subscribe. It'll help you out. You can stay up to date with all my videos and uh, check out some others if this is the first time you ever watched me. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any queries or problems, uh, make sure you PM me. And uh, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Apologise again for uh, being away for so long. But don't worry, more tutorials coming very soon. See ya.